The advantages of repair over replacement are multiple, especially in this young population. Aortic valve repair, first and foremost, retains all the hemodynamic benefit of a native valve in a human being. They have the best hemodynamics. Where you don't have to worry about patient prosthetic mismatch. The hemodynamics and durability certainly uh, would be ideal. And also the risk of endocarditis in the future would be the lowest. Other advantages comparing to a mechanical valve, for example, in the young patients would be avoidance of lifelong anticoagulation, such as Coumadin. Now, occasionally these younger patients have lifestyle issues that may preclude them from a mechanical valve or anticoagulation. Patients who are very active, they don't want to take Coumadin. Patients who have medical contraindication to Coumadin, such as history of GI bleed or stroke, and if they're young, these patients would then be subjected to aortic valve replacement with a bioprosthesis in, in, in the traditional sense when we were doing these surgeries a few decades ago. But as you know, with a bioprosthesis, there is limited durability. And certainly, although the hemodynamics are, have improved with these newer generation valves, the durability of these bioprosthetics in a younger patient remains a major concern. And certainly, that would be a major advantage of a valve repair in younger patients if it can be done successfully and with good durable outcome. Our data now is about five years. We do have some intermediate, intermediate midterm data to suggest a valve repair in the setting of a root replacement, some sort of stabilization or annuloplasty offers likely better results than an isolated aortic valve repair. Therefore, patients with a dilated root or annulus in conjunction with aortic insufficiency and bicuspid disease, I think this technique will prove to be the most durable and the most beneficial to these young patients.